real 30 seconds? A real 30 seconds. Yeah, okay. I'm the only person that's beaten the NRA nationally. I'm the guy that got the Brady Bill passed, the background checks, number one. Congratulations, Joe. You got a bill passed that studies have shown had no effect on the homicide rate or overall suicide rates. Matter of fact, the law passed in 1993 when the crime rate had already been on a decline. So you're essentially taking credit for nothing. And stop acting like you all passed that Brady bill because you wanted to protect the people. You passed the law because a regular guy shot Ronald Reagan and his press secretary, piercing the veil of invincibility you political elites think you have. You didn't do it for us. You did it for y'all. And it did nothing because your ignorance of firearms is only overshadowed by your wandering hand. Number two, we increased that background check when, uh, during the Obama-Biden administration. Keep in mind, Joe just bragged about passing the Brady Bill, which was the background check law that we have today. It's a felony punishable to 10 years if you lie on the background check form. Yet this is the same Joe Biden who in 2013 said, and I quote, regarding the lack of prosecutions on lying on form 4473s, we simply don't have the time or the manpower to prosecute everybody who lies on a form that checks a wrong box that answers a question incorrectly. Yet he's on a national stage bragging about passing background check laws that he admits he can't adequately enforce. I'm also the only guy that got assault weapons banned, banned, and the number of clips in a gun, banned. And so, folks, look. Give me a second, because I'm trying to fully understand what the hell I just heard. Did he just say he banned the assault weapons ban and then said he banned the number of clips in a gun? Biden. A clip is actually called a magazine, first of all. And then you put bullets in the magazine, which you then put in the gun. And you can only put one magazine in a gun at a time. That's like you saying you ban the number of cars a person can drive at the same time. Good Lord, your lack of knowledge on firearms is appalling. Not to mention, you're doing it again. You're bragging about a gun control law that literally had no effect on crime. The assault weapons ban of 94 that Biden is talking about ended in 2004. And you want to know why? Because there was a sunset clause in the bill that stated, after 10 years, they would have to show that the law had some effect on lowering crime. After those 10 years, study after study found that the law had no impact on crime. And yet again, here we have Joe knows no guns Biden spiking the football on gun control laws that have done nothing. And I would buy back those weapons. We already started talking about that. We try to get it done. I think it can be done and it should be demanded that we do it. And that's a good expenditure money. Ah, great. Now, Joe Biden also wants to join the mandatory buyback party. What is it with these people's promiscuous love affair with gun buybacks? Oh, that's right. Because saying confiscation and then actually trying that nonsense would likely spark a civil war. So they call it a mandatory buyback, thinking we're too stupid to realize it's a confiscation. I guess we should start calling robberies mandatory criminal donations or call prostitution modern dating. And no, Joe, spending billions of dollars to confiscate people's constitutionally protected property is not a good expenditure of money. At best, it's unconstitutional. At worst, it's unconstitutional. Lastly, we should have smart guns. No gun should be able to be sold unless your biometric measure could pull that trigger. It's within our right to do that. We can do that. Joe, I promise you right now, no one on your Secret Service team would want to use a smart gun to protect you. You wouldn't want them to use a smart gun to protect you. Hell, I doubt the inventor of the smart gun would want to use a smart gun to protect himself. You couldn't pay me to use a smart gun for my protection. And you want to know why? Because it's stupid. This Glock 19 is one of the most reliable handguns on the planet. And even this gun has failed on me more times than I can count for various reasons. Sometimes it's a magazine issue, which come to think of it was probably because you banned the number of clips in a gun. Sometimes it's an extractor. It could be the way I'm holding my gun. It could be because it's dirty. It could be because of the ammo. Any moron knows that adding something as complex as a biometric reader to make a gun function is just another malfunction waiting to happen. And we haven't even perfected the mechanical reasons why guns malfunction in the first place. And now you want to go all iRobot on us and force us to use smart guns. If you had even a fraction of the gun knowledge you should have, you'd know how dumb of an idea that is, but you don't. And this is why you say stupid like this. Lastly, we should have smart guns. No gun should be able to be sold unless your biometric measure could pull that trigger. I barely trust my iPhone to give me proper directions. I damn sure don't trust a smart gun not to fail on me when I need it the most. For the people who agree with this moronic statement, ask yourself this one question. How in the world is a smart gun gonna stop gun violence? 
Computers get hacked every three seconds. It would be nothing for a criminal to hack a gun and make it work for them. Matter of fact, it would create a whole new black market for it. Not to mention, who do you think would be affected the most by this smart gun requirement? Yup, you guessed it. Low income people. Guns are expensive as hell as it is. You think smart guns are gonna be cheaper? The current smart gun on the market is $1,700. With $1,700, I could damn near buy three of these things. And this is considered one of the best guns in the industry. Joe Creepy Biden, you have absolutely lost your mind. Our enemy is the gun manufacturers, not the NRA. The gun manufacturers. Vice President, but the NRA you. is taking orders right. from the gun manufacturers. Lester Holt. Honestly, I, I don't even really know what to do with this. So I quit. This statement actually is very telling. The goal of people like Joe is to destroy the industry. The Second Amendment is a nuisance to people like Joe because it gets in the way of their desire to disarm this country. However, what a lot of people fail to see is that they've realized they don't exactly have to get rid of the Second Amendment. They just have to destroy the industry. And that's what they've secretly been trying to do. They're doing this by filing ridiculous lawsuits to bankrupt companies. They're trying to make the cost of firearm ownership so high no one would be able to afford guns, much less the bullets to shoot it. And they're also influencing the culture. And by doing this, they're trying to make the culture see gun ownership as being taboo. And they're trying to make it seem that way as much as possible because they know that the fewer gun owners that there are, the easier it is to sell gun control. That's the game plan. And sadly, it's starting to work. Right now, there's a culture war against the Second Amendment, which is why I need your help spreading our message to counter their message. You can do this by leaving a comment, sharing this video, and click the bell and subscribe button. Let my voice be your voice and let them know you want to keep America tactical because the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed wasn't a suggestion. It was a directive. Also, if you're wondering where to purchase your state specific Keep America Tactical shirt, click the link under the Keep America Tactical in the description section of this video.